Hi, I am Bhavik Thakkar. Welcome to Bititude. If you are more comfortable with Hindi language, please hit the i button and watch the Hindi version of exact same video. But if you are comfortable with English, let's carry on. Well, in this particular video, we are going to start about time, speed and distance. The topic which most of the students find very difficult to solve. Now, as usually, Bititude has come up with the shortcuts and fundamental clarity which will make the topic very easy to understand and solve. Well, first of all, let us understand why students find it difficult because there are so many varieties of questions that are asked from this particular topic. So, it's very difficult to understand the various varieties to make our journey smoother. Well, first of all, let us understand the types. The first one being the questions based on basic concept or there could be the questions which are based on average speed. There could also be the questions which are based on variation that means the chain rule questions. And there could be the question based on relative speed questions. Well, there could be questions on race, questions on trains, questions of boats and there could be also questions on escalators. Now, we will see when we will be going through all the videos one by one we will actually understand what are the type of questions that are asked under a particular heading. In this particular video we are going to start with the very first topic, very first kind of category which is the question based on basic concept. The basic concept that we all know that distance is nothing but speed into time. Fine. So, this is something which we all know and we generally assume that the question based on this concept should be a cakewalk. It's not going to be that easy because I have come up with very difficult questions as well. The thing is that we will start with the basic questions and gradually we will reach to the tougher questions. And as the questions get tougher, Bititude methods is going to be more effective. Let's get started. Well, it's not about whether you understand this very basic fundamental or not. Of course, you know this basic relationship between these three variables. But it is all about actually understanding this relationship inside your heart. Do you exactly understand what does that mean? That is what matters. For example, if two of these variables value are given, to find the value of third variable, do you have to actually use this formula or you can calculate it in your mind. That is what matters. That is what, that is what determines your understanding. For example, if speed and time are given, can you find the distance? Like if somebody tells you that for 36 minutes, I have driven at 20 km per hour, what will be the distance that I would have covered? How do you exactly find it? Do you exactly use this formula or you do it mentally? Like if I were in your seat, in your shoes, I would be doing it something like this. 20 km per hour, as soon as I read it, I know it's one third of a minute, right? 20 is one third of 60, right? So I would say one third of 36 is 12. So I would be able to travel 12 km. Are you getting it? It is exactly the same proportional relationship. If you understand 20 km per hour means... 60 minute 20 kilometer at this pace how much I would travel in 36 minute so if you directly understand that okay 60 to 20 is one third 36 one third is 12 there you go you will be able to find out your 12 kilometer but this you are not supposed to write it should be in your mind getting this or you're not supposed to use this as a formula because that would kill your time you should be good enough to understand that, okay, 20, like one third, 12, that's it, within two to three seconds, fine, that is what matters, that is what shows your control over the things, that you are not actually mugging up anything or any formula, fair enough, right, this is very important, like, and you know, it, it is either horizontal to horizontal relationship or vertical to vertical. You can also do it like this. 60% of 60 is 36. 60% of 20 will be 12. 
there you go right so either of the relationship will be easier that's what the case would be fine one of those relationship will be easier numerically so that you don't actually have to use the formula all right no worries let's have a look here 42 km per hour so how much in 10 minutes i would say 1/6 one 1/6 sixth, one sixth of 42 7 km there you go if you really understand that 10 minutes is 1/6 of an hour so i would be able to travel 1/6 right or in other words the question is actually 60 minutes 42 kilometers and 10 minutes how much so if you're good enough you will understand that vertical relationship 1 sixth so 1 sixth of 42 7 there you go or horizontal relationship it's 70 percent 6 7 are 42 70 percent of 10 is nothing but 7 there you go either of the way if it strikes your mind the answers should come like that all right what about this one 50 kilometer is the distance that you have covered in 36 minutes what would be your speed fine and we know speed is always what in 60 minutes right so if you actually understand this is exactly 1.5 times right so in 60 minutes it would be 60 plus 30 90 there you go 90 kilometer per hour so if you're good enough are you getting it 36 minutes 54 kilometers 60 minutes how much there you go and if you are good, you will be able to understand it is exactly 1.5 times 60 plus. So this is horizontal relationship. Just apply the same 60 plus 30, 90. There you go. Right. So if you can actually visualize the thing, something like this, that is what it is all about. Because the questions are going to get tougher and tougher. So if it takes time for you to, you know, solve it like this, you will not end up solving the questions of or I would say solving the difficult questions of time, speed and distance in the real exam. If you really want to solve it, think something like this. Okay, 15 minutes, 22 kilometer, 60 minutes into 4. 88 kilometer per hour is your speed. There you go. So, you should, it should strike your mind. Like 15 minutes this in 60 minutes is exactly 4 times. There you go. 88 kilometer per hour will be your speed. Fair enough. What about this one then? Here we are supposed to find out the time. If for 19 kilometer distance, if we travel at this speed, how much time will it take? So if you're good enough, you're supposed to find out time. So 15 kilometers, 60 minutes, exactly four times, right? 15 kilometer, 60 minutes, exactly four times. So 19 into four, 76 minutes. There you go. If you're good enough, are you getting it again? Don't use that as a formula. People use formula where their minds don't work. If your mind works, something like this ultra 15 kilometer per hour into 4 so 76 kilometer 76 minute fair enough what about this one 25 kilometer in an hour so for 20 kilometer it is exactly one fifth lesser so hour minus 12 minutes 48 minutes as simple as this look if you are good enough again i'm explaining what does this mean this gives us the proportion that for 25 kilometer i take 60 minute and the question is for 20 kilometer how much time will i take so if you're good enough forget about the horizontal relationship this relationship is easy because 25 to 20 is nothing but one fifth lesser 25 minus 5 is 20 that is one fifth lesser 60 minus 12 there you go 48 minutes so if you can develop this kind of an eye the things are very easy picture is rosy fine all right then what about the questions now because that is all that is there in the basic relationship now how exactly can you apply it that matters so we are starting with the very basic questions think on your own how you can answer this question fine pause the video hopefully you could solve it not a big deal right very simple now look what happens if you attempt it traditionally traditionally the student who does not have any hold, who does not control the things, who does not understand or grasp the things in his mind, he will do it something like this. Distance is nothing but speed into time. Okay, distance is 10 kilometer. Speed, we don't know. Time is 12 minutes. So, if this is in kilometer and if this is in minute, doesn't really work, right? Normally, speed is kilometer per hour because here also if you read further it is in kilometer per hour so we'll have to take time in hours 
this is 12 minutes so 12 by 60 this is hours so speed will become as you can understand 10 into 5 so then you will say speed is equal to 50 kilometer per hour fine on the basis of these data you understand this then it goes if its speed is decreased by 5 kilometer per hour so new speed right new speed will be 50 minus 5 45 kilometer per hour how much time will it take at this speed so at this speed right again you will say distance is speed into time distance is same 10 kilometers speed is 45 kilometer per hour into time so your time is nothing but 45 sorry uh, 10 by 45 but this time will be in r as you know so 10 by 45 is r usually because this is a fraction right this is actually 2 by 9 hours but whenever it is in fraction usually it would be converted in the minutes so we'll say okay it is 2 by 9 hour into 60 minute right and then you will say all right now 3 goes here 20 goes here so 40 divided by 3 that is 13 1 by 3 minute and then you will say okay 13 1 by 3 minute now most of the times there is again one more fraction 13 minute plus some one third of a minute one third of a minute is 20 seconds so maybe option could be like 13 minute and 20 seconds right this could be your option or maybe this could be your option too depends fine but look at the amount of time you are taking when you don't have hold or control you just write all the things like formula right but when you have a control, you do it something like this. You would simply understand, all right, 10 kilometer in 12 minutes. So in 60 minutes into 5, 50. And then they are saying minus 5. So it will become 45. Speed is 45 and you have to cover 10 kilometer. So 45, that means time is 60, right? For 45 kilometer, time is 60. That means one third more. If you're good enough, you will be able to understand that. 44, 45 kilometer, time is 60. That means 15 more, one third more. So, for 10 kilometer, one third of 10 is 3.33 more, 13.33, that is 13 1 by 3 minute. There you go, as simple as that. In such a small amount of time, just by writing some things, some normal figures here and there, you get your answer. And that is the whole, that is the control that you should have. Fine? Work on it. This is very important. Fair enough? Let's move further to the next question. Look, the questions are very easy. We are gradually increasing the level. All right, then. A train is traveling at 75 km and after every 20 km, it stops for a minute. How much time will it take to travel 240 km? Now, I'll say, all right, for 20 km. Now, usually, think about this. Usually, for 75 km, it takes an hour. So, one-fifth lesser. So, for 240 km, 1 fifth lesser 48 lesser 240 minus 48 192 minute as simple as that are you getting it fine very simple to understand that it should take 192 minutes but they are saying after 20 kilometer it stops for a minute so if you really understand in 240 kilometer it will take this much time but then there is also some resting time fine it rests for a minute it stops for a minute how many minutes it will stop so, if there are five fingers, how many gaps are in between? Only four, as you can see, right? If there are three fingers, how many gaps are in between? Only two, exactly one lesser. So, if you understand this, after 20 kilometers, so how many blocks of 20 kilometers are there in total 240 kilometer? Obviously, 12 blocks, right? You will drive 20, wait, 20, wait. So, how many times you will travel 20? 12 times. So, how many minutes will you wait? 11 minutes right if you understand there are 20 different like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 20 but how many times you will rest in between in between will be 19 stops so it will be 19 minutes 192 plus 19 that's about it it should be what it should be 211 whatever it is right yeah fine 211 minutes that's about it if you really understand this fine so this is how you should be able to you know understand and actually explain to you everything otherwise i would simply do okay 75 kilometer per hour so i would take time would be one fifth lesser all right so it should be 
वन फिफ्थ वुड बी फोर्टी एट लेसर वन नाइन्टी टू मिनट प्लस आई स्टॉप फॉर इलेवन टाइम्स सॉरी आई डोंट नो वाई आई राइट नाइनटीन हियर सॉरी टू फोर्टी किलोमीटर सॉरी 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 अबाउट दैट टू फोर्टी किलोमीटर ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर इज वन डिस्टेंस सो ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व ब्लॉक्स राइट ट्वेल्व एंड इलेवन स्टॉप्स सो इट वुड बी टू हंड्रेड एंड थ्री मिनट सॉरी अबाउट दैट बट आई होप यू आर गेटिंग इट फाइन जस्ट स्लीप ऑफ टंग फाइन बिकॉज आई वॉज एक्सप्लेनिंग आई जस्ट टू फोर्टी डिवाइड बाई ट्वेंटी इज ट्वेल्व नॉट ट्वेंटी राइट आई जस्ट थॉट इट इज ट्वेंटी एंड फुट नाइनटीन मेक सेंस ऑल राइट नो वर इज यू गॉट इट दैट्स मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट फाइन ऑल राइट सो दैट यू गो वॉट अबाउट द नेक्स्ट वन इट्स द सेम थिंग जस्ट रिटर्न थिंक अबाउट दिस अगेन यू कैन पोस्ट द वीडियो एंड डू इट ऑन योर ऑन फर्स्ट फाइन लेट्स हैव अ लुक इट्स प्रिट इज सिमिलर बट राइट नाउ आफ्टर एवरी फोर मिनट्स इट इंक्रीजेज इट स्पीड बाई फिफ्टीन किलोमीटर पर आर Mm. So, if you understand in four minutes how much would I travel? That's most important to visualize, right? Now, ninety kilometer is the speed, so obviously one point five times the minute you are traveling. In sixty minutes, ninety. That is one point five times. So, if you understand in four minutes, you should be traveling six kilometer. So, your initial speed is six kilometer. So, every four minutes you travel six kilometer. But then they are saying it increases the speed by fifteen kilometer per hour. Every time, after every four minutes, he does that. So, if you understand in four minutes how much? Fifteen kilometer per hour. So, in four minute, one kilometer. So that means your next speed, next distance that you will be able to cover will be seven. Fair enough, right? Next, you would be able to cover eight kilometer because every four minutes you would be able to cover one kilometer more than the previous one, right? So six plus seven plus eight plus nine up to something. Is equal to they are saying 195 kilometer. Now usually we would use the options, but there are no options. No worry, we can do trial and error method. Why would we? Why would we? You know, put some x or something like this. We would assume. We would assume it to be say, what if we add it up to say, uh, say 16? Let's try 16. So 6 plus 16 is 22. 22 by 2 is 11. We should be able to know how to find the sum of Arithmetic progression or consecutive numbers, we know it. We'll find the average simply by first and last digit. It is 11. So that means the average of all these numbers are 11. And how many numbers are these? 6 to 16, 10. So the total will be 110. We are falling short. It has to be 195. Let's increase it to maybe 20. Let's try round figure. Maybe it may work or it will at least give us an idea what should be the real answer. So the average will be 26 by 2, 13. Multiplied by six to twenty is fifteen numbers. Fifteen, thirteen into fifteen is one ninety-five. There you go, right? So that means twenty such terms are there. But don't answer that. How much time will it take? Twenty minutes. Don't answer twenty as your minute, right? Because if you understand, each time you are taking four minutes, four minutes, four minutes, four minutes. So twenty times four minutes, right? If you understand this, or no? Not twenty times. Sorry, these are how many terms? Fifteen terms. Are you getting this? First five terms are not there. From six to twenty, right? So how many terms are there? Twenty minus five. Fifteen terms are there, and every time you are taking four minutes. So that means sixty minutes. Makes sense. Fair enough, right? So it has to be sixty minutes. All right. So this is how you should be able to interpret it. Fine, that is very important. All right then, let's move forward to the next question. A train is traveling ninety kilometer per hour, and after every forty minutes, oh, it's sorry, same question. Fine, I always forget. All right. Now look at this one. A train with this length runs at the speed of these. Very good question. The language is very good. Looks like a really difficult question, but very easy question. Fine. Hopefully you could get it over. Look, if you understand. We are supposed to find out that how many rounds up and down he will complete if the train runs this many kilometer, right? So now just understand. Imagine for one round how much time he is taking for one round. All right, for one round I'll say okay, it's 45 meter in length. Now the man runs at the speed of 15 meter per second. That means 45 meter, 15 meter per second. He will take three seconds plus while he is going back. He is forty-five by five, nine. 
so he's taking 12 seconds for one round makes sense three seconds to come and nine seconds or uh, to go back right nine or no yeah nine seconds to go back makes sense right fair enough five meter per second and 15 meter per second so three seconds to go and nine nine seconds to come back now total time he is taking is 12 seconds for a round but what we have to compare this we have to compare this with the how much train runs so in this 12 seconds he is doing one round all right he is doing one round but how much would the train travel because train speed is given train speed is 60 meter per second so 12 into 60 right 12 into 60 is simply 720 so in 720 meter when train train travels 720 meter he does one round so when train would travel 14,400 meter right because if this is in meter don't keep it in kilometer convert it how much rounds will he make obviously into 2 right and 1 0 1 into 2 and 1 0 20 it is exactly 20 times isn't it if you can simply cancel 0 72 into 2 and 1 0 20 rounds as simple as that so imagine how much time it would have taken to to solve this with you know distance is equal to speed into time and everything you might have tried it right this is how easily you can get the answers fair enough right all right then let's move forward to the next question again it's the same thing all right of course you can pause the video and think of the answer on your own first right hopefully you can make it out it's all about visualization you have to visualize what how the question goes it may seem very difficult but very easy believe me when i'll be doing it you will find it very easy all right let's have a look let's visualize it here is p q and r here it's given 35 kilometer here it's 5 kilometer a motorist travel from pre and moves towards r via q so he is going from here to here a motorist half an hour after he starts right 30 minutes is half an hour after he starts a cyclist start from q and goes to r at the speed of 10 kilometer per hour so when cyclist goes from here to here at 10 km per hour we can immediately understand it would have taken half an hour right half an hour so cyclist takes 30 minutes for his journey now it says if the cyclist reaches 20 minutes ahead of the motorist so if you understand how much time does motorist take more because he left 30 minutes before and he reached 20 minutes later so he obviously he took 30 plus 20 50 minutes more right if you understand this he took 50 minutes more that means he took 30 plus 50 80 minutes so motorist took 80 minutes for how many kilometers 35 plus 5 that is 40 kilometers so 80 minutes 40 kilometers the question is what is the speed of the motorist in kilometer per hour 80 minutes 40 kilometers 60 minutes how much of course half 30 kilometer per hour there you go that's your answer as simple as that fine so i hope you are finding it easy if you really understand the question it's nothing pretty simple pretty straightforward fair enough right all right then what about the next one uh, again i'm doing the same mistake all the time i'm not going further up no worries what about this question hopefully you can solve this let's have a look how exactly we can solve well it says look i i can give you an idea the the method that i actually explained in the equation the lecture where i i gave you the innovative methods to solve equation is very important if you haven't watched that video yet please watch it because this method is explained in that particular video now if you understand here total distance is 600 kilometer i travel some by car and some by train okay i am also given 120 kilometer by car and rest that is obviously 480 by train 
and it is taking 11 hours and 12 minutes right all right but if i travel at 200 by car all right and rest by train that is obviously 400 it is taking 10 hours and 40 minutes so the question is find the sum of speeds of car and that of train wow so you know there is no way you can even go by an option because if the option is 100 you don't know how much is of car and how much is of train so you cannot you know go by an option as well so you'll have to actually either the, there is no way you can go by an option no way you can go by logic then you will end up with the equation now normal equation that students usually use is like you know 120 kilometers speed was say for example c car speed was c train speed was t for example so distance by speed is time so this time taken by car plus this time is taken by train and total time is given as 11 hours 12 minutes which can be taken as 11 1 by 5 hours 12 by 60 right here you can say 200 by c plus 400 by t is equal to 10 hours and 40 minutes can be taken as 10 hours and 2 by 3 hours all right two equations two variables of course you can solve but think of the amount of time you would be wasting you would have to write all those big equations and waste your time now here is the trick which i actually gave in that equation video when the total is same right for 600 600 it's very easy if you understand it when i converted this 80 kilometers from train to car right train is decreasing by 80 car is increased by 80 when i did this how much time i am saving i am saving actually 32 minutes right 32 minutes if you understand this that's about it when i increased car by 80 right i converted 80 out of this to this 32 minutes are saved let us convert everything from here to here right so if i convert all 400 kilometer if i travel all 400 kilometer by car then total will be 600 kilometer by car and then the time i would take so that means when 80 was reduced 80 was increased right 80 was increased 32 minutes were reduced now 400 is increased from 200 to 600 400 five times right so how much time i'll be able to save 32 into 5 160 minute will be saved 160 is nothing but 2 hour and 40 minutes so i would take 8 hours in 8 hours i can travel 600 kilometers 8 hours 600 kilometers what's that speed 600 divided by 8 or you can say 150 divided by 2 75 there you go the speed of car is 75 kilometer per hour fine look if you haven't watched that video it's very important to watch it so that these fundamental can be understood pretty in deep meaning right all right now what about the train now you can understand that as well rather than going from here to there convert everything into train you can think when i converted when i reduced car by 80 right when i reduced car by 80 and increased train by 80 when i increased train by 80 these many minutes it took more right from here to there it took more so now if i convert all this 120 into this now try to understand 80 kilometer 32 minutes when i convert 120 to train train will be 600 kilometer and how much time it will take so how much time it will increase for 80 it was 32 for 120 it would be 48 minutes so 48 minutes will increase 11 hours and 12 minutes plus 48 minutes will be 12 hours so 600 kilometer in 12 hours what is that speed 12 into 5 is 60 so 50 so train speed is 50 kilometer per hour there you go so the total is 75 plus 50 125 kilometer per hour are you getting this fine so this is how easily we can solve the question if you know or understand the innovative methods that we have already taught in the previous video all you need to do is to apply the shortcut in this question all right then what about this this is also the kind of question where i told you something multiplied by something is equal to constant and when that's the case don't solve it just 
do trial error or maybe some because you don't have to do trial and error where you are given option you can just pick one of them all right so if you really understand i have to travel a distance of 540 km this constant is given as 540 distance is 540 speed and time we don't know but it says when i increase my speed by 54 when i increase these by 54 the time is decreased by 30 minutes means minus 1 by 2 right just do a trial and error method okay original speed right so think of a speed in which you are going to add 54 of course the easiest figure is this because when you add 54 it becomes a round figure right because it has got six in the last digit this has got four obviously if i have to go by an option i'll pick that one first right so i would think all right 216 if it is then how much time it will take to make it 540 i'll say 216 into 2 is 432 108 is remaining which is exactly half that means 2.5 right all right and if i add this 54 to this it will become 270 into what is 540 obviously 2 so this is also decreased by half an hour so that makes sense if i go with that option it satisfies the condition when i increase the speed by 54 time is getting decreased by 0.5 that is half an hour 30 minutes i can see that that's my answer right so why would i make a formula or equation to solve it fair enough all right then what about this one then just think about this uh, uh, again it's the same question let's go for the next one all right this looks a very good question too hopefully you can you know pause the video and try to answer the question but it is really a tricky question it's nothing look 210 kilometer which constitutes one third of his total journey that means the rest of the journey is 420 kilometer right we don't know his speed no we don't know the time he is going to take we don't know he had a certain speed which is x we don't know the time but what is given here try to understand after 30 minutes of this technical problem the car or whatever it was train is repaired and now train is going at the speed which is 15 km per hour faster right it increases its speed so that means the speed is increased by 15 minutes so that it reaches on time when i'm saying it is reaching on time can i actually say that it is saving this 30 minutes that it actually wasted to repair that particular technical problem right so you can actually say it reached 30 minutes early or you can say half an hour early it took lesser time 15 is the increase in speed against the same question right now look here the problem is find sum of all digits of x you cannot go by an option again so what you have to do you have to do trial and error method in the previous question you could use that 216 here you can do trial and error nothing matters time is just half an hour lesser right think about like if the time was 2 2 into how much is 420 210 if the time I am increasing for example 2.5 then 420 divided by 2.5 or you can say 1680 divided by 10 168 all right doesn't really work right the gap is not 15 are you getting it the gap has to be 15 in speed it's not it's a big gap so let's try further up maybe 4 4 into what is 420 because you know these are two smaller figure and the difference is big so I am taking some bigger example 4 into 105 what about 3.5 or 4.5 i'll have to try one 4.5 i'll not try because 4.5 means 9 it is doesn't seem to be divisible by 9 so maybe i'll try 3.5 3.5 because 3.5 into what is 420 3.5 into if you understand this this is half of 7 so if it is 7 that is 60 right 7 into 60 then 3.5 into 120 so yeah that makes sense the difference is 15 so now try to understand when i increase my speed uh, sorry when i increase my speed by 15 i could decrease my time by half an hour so this is my original speed right this is my original speed i increased it by 15 the question is find the original speed the sum of the digits so sum of the digit would be 1 plus 0 plus 5 that is 6 there you go right so look this is how you can do it and this is also explained in the previous video of equation that whenever that constant is there 
find two trial and error method rather than actually you know making the equation like if the original speed was x original time was t total distance was say 420 now the speed is x plus 15 right time is t minus 1 by 2 and distance is speed still 420 you can also actually solve this nothing against it all right you can actually solve that as well if you want to i wouldn't do that i would just use trial and error method fair enough then let's go to the next question again the same thing think about this how can you solve this one as well very good question looks like a very good question fine hopefully you could solve it look if you again if you really want to solve this in the traditional method you will simply do it like this that usual speed was x usual time was t right and that was your distance now today had he moved 4 km or faster that means his speed would have been x plus 4 time would have been 72 minutes lesser 72 minutes is 72 by 60 6 by 5 right so 6 by 5 or lesser 72 minutes is 72 divided by 60 that is 6 by 5 hours so 6 by 5 hours and that is still the right the distance is the same and when you are going slower by 4 km per hour how much time you take more 2 hours more so it is t plus 2 right it is also d so 2 equations of course you can replace this d by xt right so you can actually don't write this d write it as xt xt of course two equation two variable you should be able to solve it but think of the amount of time that you would be wasting on this and that is where bt also gave you the technique to solve this kind of the question and don't forget whenever that constant was there and then increase and decrease was there i showed you the method so go to that video of equation innovative methods you know where we solve the various equations with innovative methods and then you would know that whenever you know the question is like speed time right like speed is increased by 4 time is decreased by 72 minutes is nothing but 6 by 5 or when speed is decreased by 4 hours is increased by 2 so how do we make equation if you remember we cross multiply so that means minus 6 by 5 x so speed is x and time is t minus 6 by 5 x minus 6 by 5 x plus cross multiply plus 4 t is equal to just multiply these two constants so 24 by 15 if you remember this right it's pretty easy 24 by or you can actually say this is actually not don't write it was it 6 by 5 right sorry 24 by 5 sorry 24 by 5 all right what about this one plus 2x that is 2x minus 40 is equal to just multiply this 4 to the 8 right and if you understand these are just the opposite of each other just add those equations so that time gets cancelled when you will be adding this it will be 4 by 5x is equal to 64 by 40 uh, sorry you are adding them by 5 so 64 by 5 so 5 gets cancelled anyway 4 into what is 64 16 so your x is equal to 16 and once you get one variable just put it in here 16 into 2 is 32 32 minus what is 8 24 4 into what is 24 6 so time is 6 and once you find both these numbers the answer the question was what is the distance speed into time 16 into 6 96 kilometer there you go right very easy you can actually try this equation and solve it you will also get 96 kilometer but this is how it should have been got fine all right that that brings us to the last question of this particular video and i hope you enjoyed it and you should be able to do it on your own too all right so hopefully you could do it because it's just a practice question it's the same kind of question that we solved in the last time so the ninth question right so if you understand now we are not going to use the traditional method directly speed is 15 kilometer faster time is 40 minutes less 40 is nothing but 2 by 3 less and speed is 6 kilometer lesser then the time is 30 minutes is 1 by 2 hour more right now if you understand 
minus 2 by 3 x right here there is x here there is t right. So, cross multiply minus 2 by 3 x I will write it here minus 2 by 3 x plus 15 t is equal to just multiply this that would be 30 by 3 is 10 all right and 1 by 2 x minus uh, what it would be uh, 60 minus 60 is equal to 3 multiply both of them right. Once you know this, it is pretty easy. Which one is easy to make similar or same 15 t and 60? Let us take an example LCM is 30. Multiply this by 2. When you will multiply this by 2, it will become minus 4 by 3 x plus 30 t is equal to not 2, yeah, yeah 2, 20 and multiply this by 5. So, it would be 5 by 2 x minus 30 t is equal to 15. Just add them so that t t gets cancelled. It will become minus 8 plus 15 7 by 6 x. It will become I will writing here 7 by 6 x is equal to 35. So, x is equal to 30. Once you find x is equal to 30, right? put it in one of the equations. Obviously, just put it here. 30 into 5 by 2, right? 75. 75 minus what is 15? 60. 30 into what is 16? 62. So, time is 2. x is 30, t is 2. The question was what is the distance? Distance is 30 multiplied by 2. 60 kilometer. There you go, right? So, look, it may take a minute, but that is about it, right? With the traditional method, it is going to take a lot. And there is one another method as well, which is a formula method. You have to mug up one formula, which may help you and get this question solved in maybe 40 seconds. So, you can actually solve 20 seconds by remembering or memorizing a formula, <coughs> but I would not do that. If we can do it with the logically, you know, with our logical mind within a minute, why to remember or memorize a formula, which will just add 20 seconds and that too only sometimes when the similar question is asked right so don't do that fair enough yes that's about it so i hope you enjoyed it fine so keep watching keep learning and have a nice one